Hello and welcome to Module 2 of Drum Ambition. Module 2 is a series of 10 videos that is going to help expand upon your drum fill ideas. And if you're a beginner drummer, um, you're going to find quite quickly, even if you've worked through Module 1, that you can start running out of ideas pretty quickly when it comes to playing drum fills. You may find that you've already plateaued there a little bit. Um, and certainly when I was learning drums as a beginner drummer, it was a problem that I experienced quite early on. And the result of that, if we don't try and fix it, is we start to get in this comfort zone where we're playing the same drum fills all the time. And it's a really good idea to expand our vocabulary there. So that's what this module is going to help you with. So if you think back to module one, um, we did four videos on basic drum fills and, you know, they were really quite basic uh, because they had to be. The idea is to get you comfortable with very basic ideas and then we start building upon those ideas bit by bit. So if you remember back to videos four and five and nine and ten, we talked about basic eighth note drum fills, we talked about sixteenth note drum fills. But the critical difference between what you saw in those videos and what you're going to see in this module is in those videos, every drum fill was what we call a full bar fill or a four beat fill, meaning that the drum fill lasts the entirety of that one bar. So they're quite long fills. And if you listen to your favorite music and you pay close attention to what's going on in the drum fills, you're going to actually hear that the majority of drum fills are quite a bit shorter than that. They're what we call one beat fills, two beat fills, three beat fills. They're just shorter drum fills, which can be really quite musical and very impactful. And it's very important that we have these at our disposal. So we're not always playing big, big drum fills where they may not be appropriate. So that's what this is going to show you. Today, in this video, we're going to start with the one beat fill. Now, the one beat fill literally, as the name suggests, lasts just one beat, which means that anything that happens before that beat, before that drum fill, um, is considered to be time. So let me put that into perspective. We have one bar, we have a one beat fill. Now, here's the important thing. The one beat fill starts on beat four. As you can see there on the music, you'll see that the, the fill starts on beat four. Anything before that is just considered time. Now remember, when we talk about playing time, we're talking about just playing a beat or a groove. We, we call that generic time. So as you can see, we've got three beats of time there, followed by a one beat drum fill. That's what that means. Now, if we look on the first example here, you will see that I've elected to use two eighth notes on beat four for the drum fill. So quite simply, that's just going to be four and. That's our first drum fill, nice and simple. So if I played that in the context of the whole bar, we'll play three beats of time followed by our one beat fill. Nice and slowly, it would start like this. One and, two and, three and, four and. Nice and simple conceptually. One more time. One and, two and, three and, four and. So we are going to form a pattern now whereby we play four bars of time. We're really going to do this for the majority of our exercises moving forward. We play four bars of time, three bars of which are the groove, and then on bar four, we're going to play our drum fill. Now, if I run my metronome at 70 beats per minute, it's going to sound like this for number one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bar two. Bar three. Here comes our drum fill. One, two, three, and four, and one. Now remember, that crash symbol I just played is on the one of the next bar. We talked a lot about that in module one videos four and five. So if any of this is unfamiliar, if any of the terms I'm using is unfamiliar, you feel like you may have jumped ahead a little bit, it's always a good idea to go back and watch those videos. So number one there, it's worth maybe pausing at this point and practicing that. We're going to continue now and go on to number two. So if you look at the music there, you will see that I've elected to use the 16th note grouping on number two. The drum fill will be four E and a, which is just this, 
four, E, and a. Uh. Right, left, right, left. Remember, we call that sticking. We cover sticking at great detail in module one, notation videos one to 10. Always worth going back to look at those as well. So if I play my bar nice and slowly, it will sound like this. Number two, one and two and three and four E and a. Uh. That's our one beat fill there. So we'll run the metronome. 70 beats per minute as always. Three bars a time, one bar fill. It's gonna sound like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Bar two. Bar three. Here comes our drum fill. One, two, three, four, and four. That was number two. Moving on to number three, our one beat fill, again, which starts on beat four, is the phrase four E and. And we know from our sticking that four E and would be played four E and, right, left, right. And if we take this nice and slowly, it will sound like this. One and two and three and four E and. As always, here comes our metronome, three bars of time, one bar fill. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bar two. Bar three. Here's the fill. One, two, three, four, and crash. So hopefully you're starting to hear that these are really short, impactful drum fills. Looking at our last example on number four, we've elected to use the 16th note grouping four and a. So we know from our sticking that four and a will be right, right, left. Really slowly, no metronome. One, two, three, and four and a. Crash at the end. And then finally, three bars of time, one bar fill. Two, three, four. Bar two, bar three. Here comes our drum fill. Two, three, four, and a crash. Now, we can of course play those a little faster with no metronome. If we take that one we just played, number four, it would sound like this. four bars of time there. So I know that it's always um, more fun to hear these faster and that's certainly our goal. But remember, it's way more important to play these slowly at first and take all the habits that you've learned from module one, play everything slowly. When you feel comfortable, then that's a good point to bring in the metronome at slow beats per minute. We're using 70 here, but we talked a lot about using 55 beats per minute in module one. That's always a good point to start because it's hard to play at that speed, right? Because it's hard to play slowly and accurately, but it really does make sure you can fine tune what you're playing at those speeds. So although I demonstrate some of these patterns a little bit faster, it's really important to, to play slowly. So those are your first four. Um, you also have five additional audio files here in lesson one. And you'll hear me talk a lot about these at the end of each video because it's so important to work on those audio files because typically they're harder than the examples that you saw in the lesson. So the lesson gives you the basic fundamental for you to work on and the audio files take it that next step further. Normally different orchestrations, a little bit more of a challenge. In fact, in the five audio files that you've got for this lesson, we've got another five patterns that are very different to the four that you've just seen. They're other 16 note groupings that you'll really want to be confident with before you move on and watch the next series of videos. So take your time on these. Um, this, this is quite a little bit more challenging than what you saw in module one. So manage your expectations, you know, expect this to be, to expect this to push you a little bit. Just practice in small um, 10, 15 minute bursts if you can. 
Um, and if you need help, I'm always here to help you. You can reach out to support at drumambition.com. Um, so manage your expectations, have fun, um, enjoy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>